a look at his deal. All right, here's the deal, Wendy. This is all we really need to know here. See that date, see that number. On April 1st, the 49ers have to make a decision. His entire base salary of $11.9 million becomes fully guaranteed on that date, April 1st. Right now, it's only guaranteed for injury only. Again, April 1st is the date to remember. Big date. Without Jim Harbaugh, after devoting his offseason, improving as a pocket passer, Kaepernick endured a horrific season, was benched for Blaine Gabbert, and his year ended with labrum surgery on his shoulder. He's got a lot to overcome. Resign, rethink, restructure, or retain? Jim? All right, so the surprise of many, I'm going with retain. Difference between keeping him or not is only about $9 million and $153 million cap. He's taken a team to the Super Bowl. I am retaining. I would re-gift him, but you, you, that's it. But Santa didn't give you that option, okay. Ed Werder. Wasn't my All choice. right, we move on to Sam Bradford, obviously playing in his final or his loan season with the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, Sam Bradford. Remember, they traded for him. They wanted to get a new deal, shorter, long term. They were unable to do that. One thing about Bradford, he has surprisingly the highest salary cap number at. 13 point million. Again, he's a free agent after the season. Here's the thing. He's not the running threat that Chip Kelly needs in his offense. The Eagles have just 55 zone read rushes, no touchdowns. Last year, 515 zone read rushes, 19 touchdowns. That's in Chip Kelly's first two seasons. Dan Bradford needs a stocking, Joe Banner. He is in the re-sign column. He's played really well the last four weeks. I need a little help on the contracts, so and in case he gets hurt, I got some protection, but I am keeping But Dan you've Bradford. seen enough. I have seen enough. To go one more round. All right. Speaking of going another round, Kirk Cousins has turned a lot of heads and shut down that conversation about RG3. Kirk Cousins, another player on the final year of his rookie contract. Look at that number, just 473000 for a quarterback. That is an absolute bargain. They've got a bargain, no question about it. They're going to want to extend his contract. But again, Kirk Cousins on the final year of his rookie deal. Well, Kirk Cousins has executed the offense just the way Jay Gruden would want it done. And he's done so at a high enough level. Nobody even thinks about RG3 and the mistake that trade wound up being. Cousins leads the NFL in completion percentage this season. The last Redskin player with a higher one, Sammy Baugh in 1945. Ooh. Are you re-signing, right, so Joe putting Banner? Kirk and the re-sign column as well. I've right. always been nervous about the turnovers and the accuracy. But he's playing really well now, and they have no alternative. So he's played well enough to earn a new deal in Washington. This is a tricky one. Drew Brees obviously has played at such a high level, but father time catches up with all of us at some point. Yes, he is on the final year of his deal, and because of a restructure, he has a cap number of $30 million. That is too high. The Ravens are going through the same thing with Joe Flacco. So here's another date we need to keep an eye on. On March 11th, 10.9 of his $19.8 million salary becomes fully guaranteed. So March 11th, three days in free agency, we're going to have an answer on his deal. If Sean Payton comes back as Saints coach, I don't see how this is much of a question. Breeze is having an outstanding season after suffering a shoulder injury that forced him to miss a game for the first time in his career. But he had the best game of any quarterback in football, seven touchdown passes against the Giants. And after he shredded Carolina's undefeated team a couple weeks ago, Luke Keekley said, hey, this guy, people are going to ask what happened to our defense. Drew Brees happened to our wow. defense. Wow, he needs so a stocking. We're putting him in the retain. Tough decision, dependent upon keeping Sean Payton as the quarterback. But I'm keeping another year and making a run at it. So, because obviously if Sean Payton moves on, perhaps it's time it's to rebuild. It's time to rebuild. They right. drafted a guy in the third round with some potential. It would be time to move on. All right, Nick Foles. All right, Nick Foles, remember, he was involved in the Sam Bradford deal. Now, the Rams extended his contract before the season. His cap number is $8.8 .8 million, which is very reasonable. But here's the issue. He has a fully guaranteed roster bonus on March 13th. So to me, it would seem that they would keep him, but we'll see what happens. First year with the Rams, Nick Foles lost his starting job to Case Keenum. The Rams rank last in the NFL in completion percentage, passing yards, and passing touchdowns. So Nick Foles also goes in the retain, but really just because of the structure of the contract. The savings is only $750,000 of the year. That doesn't even buy you a third string quarterback at this point. So unless I could trade him and get another stock, another stocking from Santa, I'm retaining him. Yep, you and Edward are asking looking for, for more, looking for that regifting stocking. Uh, we're going to continue. We'll have the same stocking, though, back again.